What's going on guys, Mr. Acolyte here, coming at you with another match review, and we are once again taking a look at some EVO matches for DBFZ. We have made our way to winner's finals, that is of course, Zane versus Hikari. Alright, both are going with their trademark teams, no surprises there. This is going to be a first to three, I'm pretty sure it's going to get pretty crazy, so let's take a look at this. All right, no intros, we're going right into it. Let's see, what's the round start? Whoa, okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 man, this is explosive. The first big hit is a big spin from Zane. Push him into the corner. Whoa, man, Zane, he missed his Oki by just like a frame and Hikari uh, sniped it out immediately. He saw the whiff and immediately went to challenge. Zane was able to block though. Oof. Man, that was a very that was a very nice cross up. That was almost like a corner setup, but mid screen he he uh, super jumped past him, called Gohan to ensure the block stun, saved an air action, and then did a delayed air dash, falling L. That was so close to the ground that he instantly ducked upon hitting. That's how close to the floor he was. Jiren, what many can what many consider to be the best point character in the game right now. Ooh, so we get Gohan leveled up and we get a knockdown here. What's the pressure? Ooh, okay, so that I feel like that was a spark prediction. Almost. He definitely spaced it out. Ooh, he challenges and gets picked up by the 2M. The lab coat staggers, I like it. The knockdown straight into Zom, straight into the hell zone. Nice. So he went for the pretty standard frame kill right here. Frame kill into a safe jump. This is all just to get rid of the reflect animation. And then by the time he's coming down, he can either just bait right here, but he decides to go for pressure. And that is gonna get the spark out of Hikari. Wow, let me see that again. He 2Hs the key blast, but then is left very unsafe. This is gonna hurt, man. <gasps> is what I would say if that wasn't a drop. Whoa, okay. Whoa, man, okay, so he drops that, covers himself with the super dash, Zane teleports backwards, so he gets hit. If he would've teleported forward, that wouldn't have hit him. And then we get another awkward exchange here. Ooh, and thanks to how awkward everything is, the Dragon Rush goes through unimpeded. We're up to level three. Keep a uh, mental note of that, because there is no screen indicator. Level three Gohan. Double air dash time. Whoa, that was dangerously close to getting picked up by that C assist. Bears us out of there. Yeah, Hikari is using the super jump mix at neutral a lot. I respect it. It definitely works. Can't kill quite yet. Man, okay, so wow. So this is a great reaction to the up tech. He actually staircased him down really quickly. The only problem is Hikari doesn't have an assist to cover this. Usually in a situation like this, when you staircase someone this high, you want an assist to like knock them down into so you can actually get some mix and keep your pressure but he didn't have that here so he's forced to back off not only that but beers was coming out so he had to super dash to make sure the orb didn't hit him that's a really really good reaction by the way so he reacted to the orbs and then he backs off and then zane reacts to the fact or basically he predicts the back dash with a command grab that was really big brain and then he gets a reset Dropportunity right here. That is definitely dead. You got beers in the back. Absolutely deceased. Oh, just raw level three. Okay. Super, super powerful level three. If ever there's level three to be confident in killing. So we are we are back to being even. Uh, Hikari's got the meter advantage, but the health is. Almost identical uh, lab coats one touch away though. So let's see what happens. Ooh, what is neutral? 
Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. So yeah, in this matchup, Beers definitely has the neutral advantage. Putting the orbs everywhere. Very nice break. Oh man. The super dash is gonna go through. He tried to cover the post throw break situation with the EX orbs, but because he let it go, because he did the kick, he was vulnerable to a super dash. Picking that up there. This is gonna be a level three, if I've ever seen one. Oh, we're going for the Gohan level three. Double air dash. Oh yeah, he has double air dash, so he's gonna get some serious mix here. Oh, nice reflect, nice reflect. That was, whoa, oh my God. Every time I pause to like point out something, something even spookier happens. So this was an opportunity to do a big cross up here. He doesn't go for it. Instead, he goes for the empty low. And then the dunk crosses up. And then they end up scrambling into a super dash. Man, this match is insane. Oh, man. This is drop central, bro. This is drop central. Dang. Wow, man. Zane has some big opportunities there, but multiple drops. Plus frames into plus frames into mix. Very, very dead. Yeah, he's absolutely dead at 17. You already know. That is game one. Man, that was going back and forth the whole time. It was just, man, lots of drops. For this match, I, I want to see less drops. I want to see more Oki. <laughs> but man, let me see that round start again. Was it just round start barrier? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense because Jiden's round start is just, he has like full advantage in round start against most characters because of that 5M. So round start barrier into beer assist, which is basically instant, is a very, very good idea. So if you're going to use barrier assist, you want an assist that comes out... Barrier assist. If you're going to use barrier itself, you want an assist that comes out quick. Ooh. Use up his air action, so he's not going to be able to do too much with this. Air actions were already used up. Frame kill. Oh man, bro. I'll never get over how fast the debuff recovers. Like, look at this. M a 5M debuff. He scopes it out into Super Dash. I'm pretty sure uh, the correct answer here was J2S. I think J2S would have punished. But man, that's crazy that you can't punish it with Super Dash. That's so crazy. So, so safe. Wow, yeah, you're not blocking that. Jump over into low. That's hard. That's hard. Cross up empty low. So that is end of area 51. He's out of here. That's one of the biggest problem characters on Hikari's team. This is really good for Zayn. He's pretty far ahead with this. Gohan's not even leveled up yet either. All right, we're going in. Wow, and then Dragon Rush. Just a clean Dragon Rush. Wow, man. Let me see that again. He just does the record just for the, the corner push, and then he dashes out and then crosses him up. I'm pretty sure Zane thought that he was in the corner, but Hikaru was able to sneak behind him. That was insane. Mm, yep, we take the level three, and he's got meter to mix here. It's a spooky. It's a spooky. Yeah, you have to. I'd like to see Labco get out of there. She's in one touch territory. Ooh, but she gets the pickup. Oh, we're going straight to Hell Zone. If this gets a hit, 17 is big dead. Ooh. 
Oh, man, yeah, 2H has not been working out in this set, man. So Hikari opts to raw tag. It gets him out of dodge. He then neutral jumps. Zane reacts to this with a 2H, but he was just too high, so he ends up getting landed on. He even tried to cover himself with an assist when he noticed that it whiffed, but it was just too late. But at least he didn't get happy birthday. That would have been tragic. Man, Hikari, is, he's slowly dragging this back. Gohan's leveled up. Man, can we see that again? <laughs> he shoots the beam and teleports just as he vanishes. Plus frames. Wow. Man, like... <laughs> Man. I, 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 I tend to forget until I'm up against it or I see it myself. I tend to forget what a DP... Gohan's 2S is like his S is just it's just such a DP it's like it, it it gets out of so many pressure sequences it's insane oh and then just a regular IED gets the pick up there it was even a counter hit I think he hit a button Man, Akari's back in it. Wow. Slowly dragging it back. He was so far behind. Oh, my God. One more time. Let me see. 2S just getting him out of dodge. Wow. That's the Hikari special right there, dude. Uh, I, I've, 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 I've just seen it so many times. That's Hikari special. The, the run forward 1L. For some reason, he really likes to poke with 1L at neutral, and it hits so much. Did I say 1L? I meant 3L. My bad. I said 1L. He was on the other side, that's my bad. Ooh. We're zoning. We're zoning. Orbs are everywhere. What in the heck was that? Staircased him down into a heavy and then he ended up in the corner. Wow, that's weird. Uh, Zane didn't believe though, so he ended up placing an orb. He didn't believe that that was gonna hit. He ends up placing an orb and getting sparked into the corner. He goes for level three. No, he backdash and does the three L again. That was close. Wow. Orb, yeah, orb kick has been getting him in a lot of trouble, I feel. Level three. We got to hold some mix here. Is what I would say if it wasn't beers. Man. So he was able to spend how many bars to save himself? So wake up DP into level one, into level three. This is just a completely safe wake up. Wow. Crisscross. Double crisscross. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, man. Man, yeah, Zane's shaking his head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when Zane went back to watch the tapes on this, I'm pretty sure he's going to be... He's. Pre I'm pretty sure he was disappointed in these drops. I feel like a lot of his decision-making is fine, a few whiffs here and there, but I think the biggest thing is the drops for sure. Okay. All right. Is Zane going to be able to bring this back? He's got one last chance. Here we go. Wow. There's no way. There's no way you sniped him right there. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, man. There's the counter. He didn't have anything to do with it, though. Yeah, Hikari's playing real chill until they meet in the middle and he gets the pickup. 
Wow, man, the decision, <laughs> oh man, I, I like this. We we've been talking a lot lately about mixing up your knockdown options. This one is super creative. So instead of like spending any resources, he opted to keep both assists and then reset him with a 5L and then just tech chase him. And it's like this basically just put Zane in the hot seat because he's just immediately teched into more pressure and Hikari has two assists. So if he gets this next opening, it's dead. Oh, and that was a big spark bait. Man, Hikari is just, he's just playing. He's hes really playing Galaxy Brain right here. Dude. These are Galaxy Brain plays right here. This is insane. This is, this is crazy. This man, Hikari, is, he's playing in the future. <laughs> He's play, literally playing in the future. Five D chess moments, but we had an almost happy birthday there. Whoa, man! Very nice spacing on the the rapid fire shot. Oh man, another missed opportunity. Man. Brother. Okay. So this right here, you never ever want this to happen to you. If this happens to you, you're doomed basically. So because they clashed, this means that Zane is no longer allowed to block. Like his super dash is now going to have landing recovery because of this clash. So he has to connect in some way. He has to stop Ikari here, but he's unable to. He does in a JL and it tags him for a second, but he's going the wrong way. So it whiffs. So as you can see, boom, he tries to swing again, but he's not gonna be able to swing first and boom. Oof. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go ahead and try to level up Gohan here. Yep. Frame kill with the jump. Ooh, Zane saw the opening. Uh. Okay. Okay. That was just a tag. No way, dude. Wow. Okay. Again. 5D chess moments here. He whiffed the beam on purpose. Whiffed beam is completely unsafe to super dash unless you have 17 assists to cover you. Jesus Christ, brother. What a spoiler. He baited the super dash on purpose, brother and snapping Zamasu out to get rid of that blue life. Oh, wow, did he do? Nah, he didn't do that on purpose, no way. There's no way he punished that. It looks like he did though. It looks like he punished that, not punished, but it looks like he tagged him exactly where he landed with his assist. That's what it looks like. Did he really do that? I'll leave that up to you. I'll leave that up to you guys at home. You you let me know, did he do that on purpose? It looked like he did that on purpose. <laughs> There's no way, bro. And then there was the cat man. Let's see. Neutral skip. Oh, man. Okay, nah, he's... Hikari's definitely using the the French technique, bro. The French technique of whiffing into an assist. This the French definitely popularized this. You whiff so that you look like you're unsafe, and then boom, <laughs> you call like some kind of instant assist, and it punishes the person for trying to punish you. It is one of the sneakiest things you can do in this entire game. 
It's like, how dare you try to punish me? Oh, that was close. Dang, he just didn't care. He challenged. Once again, we, we've talked about this many times. He, the, the, another example of this, man, Hikari, is he's crazy. This is another example of a forced soft knockdown. He just does a jump heavy and then continues his air momentum. He almost got an L out of that. He almost got an air L if he was a little bit higher. And, but this time Zane wakes up with the DP. All right, we are playing some neutral, but we get picked up, and that is it. 17A. Absolutely dead. And that's going to be Hikari over Zane. Man, this was an insane set. I feel like in this final game... Hikari was just, he was just way too comfortable and confident by the time it got to this point. I feel like a lot of the options that he chose were just those of absolute confidence, like this moment here that we pointed out with the reset and a lot of things later on in the set. I think Hikari at this point was just like, I think he felt like he couldn't lose and his play was really reflecting that. Like he, he pretty much just kind of like just pulled ahead mentally and sadly, Zane still had some pretty big drops here. I think that, that was like the huge deciding factor of this set were like all the drops. But outside of that, I do think Hikari was playing pretty insane. But either way, this was like a really good set. And this is definitely one of those sets where I would say, you know, it, it was 3-0, but every match felt really close. Outside of the last one, every match felt like it was going down to the wire. So even though it was 3-0, you still get the feeling that the match was like somewhat close, which is kind of funny. And with that, we have reached the end of the review. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We are gonna continue on with this. We only got a few matches left until the end. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. If you enjoyed this, we've got a whole playlist full of match reviews, as well as matches from other games like Strive, Street Fighter and Grand Blue, so be sure to check that stuff out. As always, you guys have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Ace.